Yo, what's up? What's up? Welcome, biologists. Another episode, Four Minute Freestyle, coming up. Man, this song is great. If you don't know J. Ru, I can't do anything for you. Let's fade this music out. All right, Four Minute Freestyle coming up. Brooklyn Biologist, you know what to do with the social media. Look for me, click, follow, whatever. Do all those things, or do none of it. Who cares? All right, just as long as you learn. That's all I care about. Four Minute Freestyle. What's the topic going to be today? I got a topic in my head. I got nothing prepared. I got no notes, no script, no fancy PowerPoint, no fancy animations. It's just me and this pen. It's going to be a blank sheet of paper. So clear this image out. And I'm going to start the timer in just a second. Clear that bad boy. All right. We got to get the timer going. We got to make sure our technology is set. It's always one of the hardest parts of making these videos. Get my stopwatch ready. Boom. All right. And we're going to get started in just a second with uh, a transverse cut of the spinal cord. Because I got a quick tutorial I like to do on it. A four minute freestyle starts now. All right. When you talk about a transverse cut of the spinal cord, a diagram like this is going to look familiar to people. It's going to be a, a cylindrical looking structure like this, a cut. And then somewhere in between, you'll have sort of like a butterfly shaped structure like this, right? It looks something like this. Maybe this looks familiar from your textbooks. And there'll be a dot right there in the middle and a sulcus here and a sulcus there. Does this look kind of familiar? This is a four minute freestyle. That's why this is supposed to be sloppy. It's just me just going. All right, so a lot of people are asked to explain these diagrams and you have some nerves coming in this way, some nerves coming out that way, some nerves coming in this way, some nerves coming out that way. Does this look kind of familiar? It's a little sloppy, I know. But I came up with a trick to remember some crucial information about how information is coming in and out of this thing. So I share it with you and that's called Devo. What does Devo mean? What does Devo mean? I'll tell you what Devo means. Hold on one sec. Devo means when you're dealing with a transverse cut of the spinal cord, you have to know where information is coming into the spinal cord and where information is coming out from. So Devo stands for dorsal in and ventral. Oh, the pressures of the freestyle getting to me out. In other words, if we go back to our crude diagram that we looked at a second ago, damn, the technology doesn't want me to succeed. Here we go. We have sensory information coming from the body to the central nervous system, to the spinal cord, in the dorsal roots and rootlets of this structure here. So those are your dorsal structures. And that information comes in to the dorsal gray horn of the gray matter of the spinal cord. So there's your DI, that's dorsal in. That's sensory information going into your spinal cord from your body. Dorsal in. VO, ventral out. Again, here's our gray matter of the spinal cord. It's in the interior part of the spinal cord. So how do motor commands get sent from the CNS to your body, to their effector organs, to glands, to muscles? Where does that information travel from? That comes from the ventral horn of the gray matter out through these ventral rootlets and out to the effectors. Okay. So again, if you're given a diagram and you have these dorsal structures here, this is dorsal, this is ventral, right? Dorsal structures take information into the gray matter and motor commands leave the CNS to their effectors through the ventral structures, D-I-V-O. I have a minute left. Let's see if I can clear this out and do some more information. Oh, clear. Oh my God, the technology's failing me. And now I know the delete key just does it. All right, some more information that we could do about the transverse section of the spinal cord, right? Well, we have a dorsal median sulcus, which is a little group here, and a ventral median sulcus here. In the center of all this gray matter, that's real sloppy, is a central canal. That is where we will have cerebrospinal fluid circulating. The central canal is lined by ependymal cells. 
which are supporting cells of the central nervous system. And by the way, if this is the gray matter, all this in here, I'm not going to bother to change the color. If this is all the gray matter, then surrounding it is going to be the white. Oh, my DJ Red Alert promo from the 90s is telling me that I'm out of time. I got caught up on the white matter. So, damn. Time for DJ Red Alert, according to my phone. All right, that's a four-minute freestyle. What did we cover? Let's do a recap. Devo, dorsal in, ventral out, meaning sensory information collected from the body is going to travel to your central nervous system when it comes up close to the spinal cord into the gray matter, the dorsal horn of the gray matter. So the dorsal horn of the gray matter, sensory information in to the spinal cord. That's where it's being received. We're doing the recap. What's the VI of Devo? The VI is ventral information out, okay? Motor commands leaving the central nervous system and going to their effectors, muscles and glands. That's a four minute freestyle. It's meant to be a quick hitting uh, demonstration of knowledge, just right off the dome under pressure. But uh, one last thing I wanna say about the, the four minute freestyles, this is what I expect students to be able to do. You should be able to just pick a topic. You should be able to just be presented with a topic. And like I tell my students, if I give you the topic, no matter what direction you go in, you should be able to just do a freestyle. You should be able to just pick it up and go. In other words, demonstrate knowledge. You know, start with a crude diagram. Start filling in that diagram. Give me some fun reminders of how to remember information, right? If you can freestyle on a topic, that's showing that you're comfortable with it and you could demonstrate your knowledge. You can convey it. You can convey it to other people. And that is some of the best ways to learn is by teaching others. Brooklyn Biologist freestyle episode. Do all the things for social media. Follow me, whatever, or don't. The, whole, the most important thing is that you learn. And, you know, like I like to end a lot of my episodes uh, since we just did this freestyle um, and I'm done. Like my Aunt Sydney says, if I'm done, that means you're done.